folks, it's that time again for What's For Supper Wednesday. But also this week, we are going to be in an open collab with Doreen's Food Prep. And the collaboration is Holiday Keto Recipe Challenge 2022. Alrighty, the meal we're going to be fixing today, folks, you can have for breakfast, supper, lunch, whatever you'd like. It is going to be a sausage and egg keto quiche. Say that real quick several times. Um, we're going to be using sausage we've canned, two tablespoons of butter that we've had in the freezer, evaporated milk, and we're going to try this here. It's the first time I've tried it. It's called Mac Yourself. It's cheddar cheese sauce mix. And then we're going to be using five eggs. Now these are small eggs, folks. Right now our ladies has slowed down and a little bit small but um to us eggs are shelf stable because we just you know we're able to keep them out let's get started now part of this collaboration with Doreen's food prep is she said there the rules was either shelf stable foods or frozen foods and like I said, whenever we buy butter, we just store it in the freezer. We try to, if we catch it on sale, because we use a lot of butter. And um, like I said, the eggs to us is shelf stable. So we're going to give it a shot right here, folks. Let's get started. All righty, Carolyn's putting her eggs in. Like I said, we're doing five on this here. We'll make sure the recipe is down in the description. And we went ahead and we preheated our oven to 360. And we'll mix this up right now. We're gonna add our butter and cheese sauce here in just a second. Alrighty, let's mix this all up here. What kind of doohickeys this thing should? It's a Danish whisk. A Danish whisk, okay. Just mix it all up good here. We're gonna pour in our butter, two tablespoons of butter. Like I said, folks, if this turns out, we'll make sure we've got the recipe in the description. All righty, stir this up here. We're gonna use Carolyn's Danish whisk, she said it is. All righty. And then now we're getting ready to add our other stuff. All right, now we're gonna put in two tablespoons of our cheese powder. It's the first time using this stuff, folks. We'll let you know here in just a little bit how we like it. Actually, this is the first time we ever made this recipe. Come up with this just a little bit ago. Folks, after doing a little bit more figure in there, we're going to do three tablespoons of cheese powder. Okay, now we went ahead and greased the pan. We used coconut oil for that. Now here's our sausage that Carolyn canned up. And now I'm just going to break it up down here and put it in the bottom. And what I've done, you can see the, we had to fatten everything. And We've set it in the microwave just a minute there to where this would pop out. We'll save that sausage grease for later on for something else. But all I'm going to do, I'm just going to mash up the bottom here. Get the sausage all around. Pour that on top. Now, once again, folks, this will be the first time we've tried doing this here. We thought about the recipe a little bit ago. We'll be honest with you and let you know how it turned out. If we liked it, we'll sure tell you. If we don't care for it, we'll sure tell you. Sausage, cheese, egg. In my head, I don't know, I can't really see where we're going wrong anywhere, so we'll find out. Okay. 
Now, we got all that mixed up. Take this and pour it around here on top. Now, we'll set this here in the oven. And to be honest, folks, really don't know how long. We're going to start off about 30 minutes and check it and go from there. And I believe I already told you once, but make sure your oven's preheated to 350. Uh, once again, we're doing 360 because our oven, I swear, is off a little bit. All right. All righty, folks. Now, this here is not part of the food collab, but it is keto. And the reason this is not part of the collab because we're using fresh ingredients. Um, but it is keto. Take your uh, cookie sheet and uh, put parchment paper on there. And then scatter out your cheese. I'm going to actually get the other bag of cheese too. Hold on one second. Be right back. Alrighty, here's our second bag of cheese. Just be sure, folks, you use parchment paper. You definitely gotta use parchment paper with this. And what you're gonna do, you just put the cheese down the parchment paper. And we've already got the oven for the, the other food there, going at 360. And what we'll do, is put it out pretty thin. And then we're going to put a little bit of our sauce and spoon on top. And that's it, folks. We'll put it in the oven. We'll let it bake up. And you've got you a low-carb appetizer um, addition, a side to your meal. Or as far as that goes, you could just make this the meal. Now, folks, you can add whatever you want to this like i always say make it your own um, we're not adding no pepperoni or anything we're just putting a little bit of sauce just drizzle you some sauce around through there you ain't got to cover the whole thing just put it around there in places Carolyn's probably getting upset. I keep moving the jar there in front of the camera. Okay. And then we'll show you this here in just a little bit also. I think we'd already had this one other time in our one of our playlists there for what's for supper. It's pretty good, folks. Use whatever favorite tomato sauce you want. Pizza sauce. Okay. Now what I'll do, we'll put this in the oven and it's basically you just sort of watch until after about 10 minutes, just start looking at it. When the cheese gets melted and you'll want it to actually just crispen up just a little bit, it's done. But we'll, we'll tell you how long we cooked ours for here in just a few minutes. Alrighty folks, this here was 30 minutes at 350. The temperature is 190, so it's done. We're gonna let it sit here for just a couple minutes and then we'll slice it up and give it a try. We'll let you know. Alrighty, here's the finished product. We'll give it a taste test here in just a second. All right. Give this a try. That is a winner, folks. That tastes good. This will definitely be a keeper. Thank you all for watching. We'll be showing you the other here in just a few minutes when it comes out of the oven. Folks, I'd like to thank you all for watching us. Um, you all have a great day. And once again, this is Doreen's Food Prep Resource. 
Uh, she's got open clap. Tomorrow is the last day of it. We'll have everything in the description. We'll show you the pizza here in just a second. Alrighty, folks. Here's our keto pizza. Once again, this is not part of the collab. We put that in for 15 minutes. You've seen us, we put a little bit of sauce on top. Now we're gonna let it cool just a little bit and you'll have you a good little pizza. A keto friendly pizza, low carb. Alrighty, thank y'all for watching. And once again, check out Doreen's food prep resource. Um, We'll have the link in the description. Hope y'all have a great day. We'll be seeing you soon.